he was missing out on. Um, so do you think your expectations were met or unmet? Um, I think they were at, well, he is actually, well, he was in the seventh grade going into the eighth grade, but I bought the eighth grade book going into the ninth grade. So right off the bat, I, my expectations were already exceeded um, only because I was trying to push him harder um, to learn something that he hasn't quite learned just yet. So each week, well, each day um, that we went through the book, uh, I would allow him to um, look up the answers to an extent, of course, not the answers in the back of the book, um, but just to see how the process uh, flows. And then I would give him the book and then he, we, he would um, have to answer it each day on his own. And based off of whatever answers that um, he came up with, um, with showing his work, um, that's when we would go a little bit deeper into, well, this is the reason why this is wrong, or maybe this is correct, or whatever it is. Um, so it just, it, it was almost like a, a kickstart to a conversation of something else to learn. But I allowed him the chance to do it on his own first, and then that's when I came in. So I was still able to uh, do my own work, um, and then we would uh, wait for the afternoons to sit down and discuss, well, maybe what he didn't understand. Um, so how, uh, well, do you guys use the book daily? <clears throat> uh, yeah, well, we don't use it on weekends. Mm -hmm. How long does it take uh, uh, for your son to finish the book? Uh, oh, oh, for each day? Yes. Um, I don't watch him, uh, but normally about 30 minutes per day because he goes, whatever he doesn't understand, um, I usually ask him to look it up. So have you guys looked at, uh, some of the fun activities at the back of every, at the end of every week? On activities? No, I don't yes. think so I know about that. Did you purchase a the book? 20 book? No, I didn't. Okay. I just have right now the summer learning, and then I was going to get the 2020 book after he uh, after summer's up. Uh, the, the updated version for 2020 of the summer learning? Uh, no, because isn't there another book um, that's outside of summer? Yes, um, but for, so every year we kind of come out with a new updated version of the summer learning book, summer learning work, oh. head start workbook. Oh, well, yeah, as soon as he's finished with this one, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, so I was curious if you got the 2019 or 2020 version of this book. Um, I have the 2019 book. It was says updated for 2019. Oh, yeah. and Okay. Um, okay. So I think for the 2020, there are fun activities at the uh, end of every week. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, looking it's, forward it's to really those. It's really fun. Actually, at the end of the first week, there's like sign language, and then there's another one with like a maze puzzle. And I know a lot of the kids enjoy it, especially on a Friday. It's like we get some fun in <laughs> after learning. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, have you tried our online portion? Uh, yes, he has. Mm -hmm. How do you like it? Are you in or your son? Uh, he said that it was kind of like a, a reiteration of what's inside of the book. Um, it was just extra, extra questions. Uh, so I was like, oh, okay. So normally I didn't ask him to do that, but he did do it. He did the, the reading portion mostly. Um, he was fine with math. Um, but he prefers to actually write it down. Uh, so we focus more on the reading um, aspect of it. Mm. Have you tried our parent portal of the online version? I looked at it briefly, um, but I saw that um, what he needed, uh, he was just able to navigate through it. Uh, so I would go in there just to see what was there um like at the beginning of the week and then I would tell him or I can see uh like his progress but most of the time he showed me anyway so I, I didn't go to it as often as 
maybe I could have gone, but it is only because he was pretty transparent about what he was doing. Um, so what do you like or don't? And what would you like to see changed or improved, whether it may be on our workbook or online? Um, so what I did like was that it seemed relevant for the um, school year uh, because he definitely has not touched a lot of this stuff, um, but some of the stuff he did. So it was just good to see that it was stuff that was relevant to right now uh, and, and preparing him for what he will be seeing in the future. Um, one thing that maybe I would like to see is maybe a little bit more content and not just going directly to the uh, question portion. I mean, just having all practice tests in there, maybe just a little bit more content. That would be nice. Uh, no, I want to say that might be it. Uh, what would you mean yeah. by content? Uh, just maybe like a brief overview of what they're, they're discussing before they actually get into the subject, like slopes. I'm just, uh, it's only because I went to that page. Uh, but like, as far as like slopes or whatever, just maybe give like a brief overview, like, well, this is what slopes are, maybe a, a page of, of, um, what they are, like talking about the X axis, I mean, axis and the Y and things like that. It was like, just really just a brief overview and it's mostly for math not necessarily for English uh, but mostly for math just to give a brief overview of um, what lesson is coming up next and not just going straight to because just looking at it goes for like day seven uh, and then it has like the questions and then it goes straight to day eight and then it changes the subject mm. like it could be going it could be talking about um, like whole numbers and expressions irrational numbers and then it goes straight into slopes and then it goes into solving linear uh, equations. So there really wasn't a, a transition um, in the workbook at least. Mm -hmm. I know it's really good information. We're definitely going to uh, discuss and reflect on. Um, and what would you say about your overall experience uh, with Loomis? Uh, I thought it was good, uh, especially for the price. Um, I definitely think it was worth it. So um, I'll definitely stick with it. I've used something. I don't remember who they were. It was like a green book. I don't know, but I've used them previously and it wasn't challenging enough. So I think this was uh, a good place to um, at least start right now with his age group. Um, I think this is good. Uh, what uh, exactly would be a good like price range for you? Mm, for the book? Yes. Or, uh, or just for a regular summer workbook? $10. 10, no more than 20. Definitely no more than 20. Because I mean, kids don't want to do schoolwork anyway <laughs> during the summer. So, well, thank you so much. Um, this is kind of most of the questions that I, I've had. Um, it was great working with you um, and just hearing um, your perspective, really, and how. Uh, us as Loomis Learning can continue to work and provide and just the resources uh, for parents and uh, kids.